In February of 2020, President Mohamed Buhari appointed an interim managing committee to take over the affairs of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. The hope was that the new committee will help reposition the NDDC to achieve its core mission, which is to develop the Niger Delta region, the place where Nigeria's oil wealth comes from. Here is how local people welcome the committee members to their office in Port Harcourt. Take a look. <laughs> Fanfare at the entrance of the NDDC office by well wishers of the new board members appointed by President Muhammad Buhari to pilot the affairs of the interventionist agency. Welcome to Urgent Care, where we deal with matters too urgent to wait for tomorrow. I am Dr. Damages. So, there was a celebration following the appointment of a new managing committee to save the corruption riddled NDDC. As usual, the man in charge, a professor of medicine, said all the right things on that first day. We need to change from the way things are done. There will be a radical review of quite a number of things, especially those that have been done wrongly, because you must have measurable performance indicators in every unit and in every department. <laughs> yes, finally. Now, fast forward to last week. The Nigerian Senate is probing NDDC for reckless spending of over 81 billion naira. That is $212 million. Listen. On May 5th, the Senate set up an ad hoc committee to investigate alleged financial recklessness by the Interim Management Committee of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. The chairman of the committee queries the payment of over 1 billion naira to about 4,000 NDDC staff as COVID-19 relief allowance between February and May 2020. When they say reckless, it is actually an understatement. In less than four months, these guys blew 40 billion naira. They spent 3.14 billion as relief funds for their 4,000 agency staff. Some staff members were getting up to 10 million naira as relief, and others 3 million. They were just throwing money around. They used 475 million to buy face masks and hand sanitizers for the Nigerian police. I'm like, why is the Nigerian police under the care of the Niger Delta Commission? Is it? Oh, 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 here is the kicker. They spent 486 million for duty travel allowance. Now, in April, for instance, some of the officials went to the UK to attend graduation ceremony of some Niger Delta students. Total cost, 85.6 million. Meanwhile, a lot of Niger Delta students on scholarship are suffering abroad because of lack of funds, but they found 85.6 million to travel to the UK to parambulate. Now, another key item was 23.8 billion spent on consultancy fees with fake companies and fake projects. I am um, interim management. Had an opportunity to spend 81 billion in six months. And I'm listening to the executive director projects telling me they have to pay people, they have to give people money, they have to pay for health services. Is that what the Niger Delta we used to develop? From October 29, 2019 to May 31st, 2020, the agency spent over 81.45 billion. 81.45 billion. Members of the Interim Management Committee were also accused of paying themselves millions in impressed. 
the MD of the commission, Professor Pondy, gets 51.6 million a month for personal security and project monitoring. Why the director of projects gets 18 million a month for the same purpose? They also get 10 million a month for hosting visitors. Yeah. Listen to the director. If anybody has any any proof, any way, meet the committee and have collected one percent, even one percent, I'll resign on the spot. Of course, of course. Oh, oh, I forgot to tell you. They do not get the money paid directly into the account. No, no, they are not stupid. They are not hush puppy. They are not like people at NNPC or, or these people at uh, uh, Refinery, Cardinal Refinery. No. The names and the bank accounts of their staff members they use for the payments are all in the petition. Now, in their defense, the members of the management committee said that they got approval from President Muhammad Buhari for all the money that they spent. Oh yeah, listen to him, director. Let me put it on record that the entire palliative was approved by Mr. President. They went on to accuse the chairman of the two committees on Niger Delta in the National Assembly, in the Senate, Peter Moboshi, and in the House of Representatives, Nelson Abomoshe, of always hijacking the budget of the NDDC since its inception in 2001. The management said that they have lost confidence in the chairman, stating that out of 2,900 emergency projects the commission planned to carry out in the Niger Delta communities, the two chairmen are demanding to execute 1,000 projects themselves, as they've been doing over the years. Now, according to the Accountant General of Nigeria, since 2016, NDDC has received over 281 billion naira. 281 billion naira. Meanwhile, the current management reported that they met over 3 trillion in debts owed to contractors. 3 trillion. You may be wondering, where is the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs in all of this? Uh, Mr. Godswell Ababio. Where is he? Well, <laughs> after refusing to appear before the Senate committee, he finally showed up. He came just to deny Senator Moboshi's uh, accusation that he, the minister, collected 500 million to execute contracts for the NDDC, but did not do the job. It is a mess, complete mess. Remember what the man in charge said on that first day? Let's see that. Who is the person signing completion of projects when the projects are not even there? Who is signing for projects that have not been uh, done to the specifications? Who is signing for projects that are not completed but are, uh, that seem to be completed? We need to look back into these things uh, uh, properly. Yeah. Who is signing for these projects? Scratch that. Who are these people? The long-suffering people of the Niger Delta cannot explain what these people are doing with the billions and billions allocated to help them every year. What are they doing with the money? And guess what? This story is not new. It is the same with all government agencies across Nigeria and Africa. So Africans, I ask you, who did this to us? Who did this to us? Great news, Sendwebs, <laughs> Sendwebs Naira exchange rate has increased from 374 Naira to a dollar to 382 Naira to a dollar. Yes! They changed it to match the Central Bank of Nigeria's official rate. 382 to a dollar is the highest possible rate they can offer while staying compliant with Central Bank's guidelines, which means they are waiving the small profit that they make from the exchange rate. It is one way that SendWave is helping users during these challenging times. Have you downloaded SendWave? 
Hi, if you live in the US, UK, Canada, Italy, Ireland, or Spain, and you send money to Nigeria, to Ghana, to Kenya, to Tanzania, or Uganda, you should download SendWave on your phone. SendWave is safe, secure, reliable, fast, and more importantly, it is fee free. Absolutely no fees. For your first transaction, use the promo code DOCTOR and SendWave will add $5 or five euros or five pounds to the money you send dash just because you know dr damages what are you waiting for here is how to do it